but welcome to Into the Breach. Uh, the first look did well enough. I'm interested in playing a little more of this game for YouTube, so here we are. Uh, so I will do a little outlining of what my plans are for this series. First of all, I'm going to do a new profile because I'm probably also going to be streaming this game. And I, uh, I, I don't want to push myself, basically. I don't want to start up a run and then go, well, I gotta like, you know, you gotta sit down and play this for four hours, because some of these I think are gonna be a little bit rough. So, start a new new profile. I'm going oh, Humanity Destroyed, Vec Threat Unstoppable. Mission failed. We'll get them next time. Mm -hmm. Oh, is Ralph the man? Ralph is the main man? I, I love the aesthetic of this game. I don't know if I've told you this a hundred times or not, but the aesthetic of this game is prime to me. Oh. I didn't know that Ralph was like your starting character though. So here's the deal, we're gonna start fresh. I'm gonna be doing this series as trying to clear it all on unfair. However, what I will probably do is progress this profile in my off time. And by that, I mean, I will probably go through and uh, do like a few normal runs in my off time and just do achievements to unlock the new squads to catch myself up a little bit, so. That's the plan. I will I will explain everything. If you didn't if you don't know how the game works, you can go watch the first look. I'm gonna turn the game down a touch. But I think that I will not be cutting out losses either, as I did with Monster Train. I think that it's gonna be a pretty big learning curve, but this game seems like a huge challenge on Unfair. And I'm down. So I'll go over what we have here. First of all, do we have other squads? We have to, right? Oh no, they're just cheaper. I see. I see, I see. Okay. So I will play, I mean, I, tra Time Travelers? Yeah, so me personally, after having played around a little bit, I'm pretty sure this is the best Time Traveler, Camilla, but we'll try a lot of stuff. I don't like the robots that cost power, to be honest with you, but... So we have the Combat Mech, which is a Prime Mech with Punch Enemy, Push Him Back. Seems good. I think Punch Adjacent Tile Push Them Back is very strong because it just counters any melee attack, and it does too. Seems good. Cannon Mech shoot enemy push them back sounds good and artillery shoot deal damage push enemies away so we're gonna do a lot of knocking enemies into the water here i don't have the colors oh man all right let's get to it so yeah i'm gonna be playing all, all new enemies i actually think that advanced enemies makes the game easier than it does harder and we're gonna play unfair i, I think this because i feel like oh the advanced enemies adds in like moths I think are a lot easier and the crabs feel a lot easier. Ah, interesting. I haven't started a new save file in a long time. You are from the future, you'll find Rylan is even further back in time than you expected, if not for the Vec I'd have loved to give you a tour of the old earth relics. Uh, so first of all, I feel like Do Not Kill the Volatile Vec is extremely bad. I think it's extremely hard to do that. Take less than three grid damage to protect the emergency batteries is definitely the play. Oh, and there's a little bit of proximity mines here, huh? I didn't... Oh, so we didn't have a choice. That's right. So any unit that stops on this face will trigger the mine and be killed instantly. We're going to try and do a little bit of thinking about how we... So the idea here is pretty simple. I need to think about where I think these enemies are going to go and attack right now. Like If I were able to start right now, where would they go? Mm. Interestingly... Depending on the move order, this Alpha Scorpion might be unable to attack anything. It depends pretty heavily on the move order here. Oh, this is really weird. I think that the Alpha Scorpion can't attack anything, and I think the Mosquito is going to kill itself, right? You see that? Because what's the Mosquito going to do? Well, he's going to go attack a nearby building, and he's just going to land on this mine and die. 100%, right? Because look at the attack order. This one's going to go first. So this guy's going to come over here. So I actually think that if I position myself back, these enemies, like if I position myself out of their range, they're just going to kill themselves. Like I don't want to put anything here because this guy's going to walk up and attack it because he doesn't have a valid attack right now otherwise. So what I do want to do is I actually want to bait this scorpion because if I don't, what could happen is he walks up and blows up this mine and then the mosquito lands over here. So I want to try and bait this scorpion. It's a pretty gross setup for the map, by the way. You're going to probably come up here. Uh, I'm going to put the tank here, and I'm going to put the artillery back here. 
And that should be fine. My goal is to do one island per... Oh, that guy tanked the bomb. Yeah, I was right about that. Right about that. Mm -hmm. Sadly, that guy tanked that bomb. If he didn't tank that bomb, that uh, this, this mosquito would have died. But... I was correct about this enemy not being able to attack. Now, if we look at the attack order, one... Okay, so the only thing I have to solve here on this turn is I have to solve how I don't lose this building, right? Now, interestingly, if you look at it here, this guy's dead, he kills himself, right? I can push this one. I think it's impossible for me to save this building, though, unfortunately. Well, I guess the best thing to do is make it take one rather than three. And this is going to be a case a lot of the time in these where the best play is going to be to like to, to minimize damage rather than zero it out completely. I'm still drinking my coffee. It's pretty early when I'm recording. It's pretty early. It's 1 p.m., but that's pretty early for me. And I also recorded Monster Train, which makes me drink my coffee slower. Hold on, I'm just going to finish my coffee. It's like one, one drink left. Okay. So, unfortunately, and if I had placed, if I had swapped the positioning of my mechs here... If this artillery mech was over here, I would have been good. I should have, and this is, I should have thought about this, right? But I didn't think, I, I thought that in no universe would that guy just kill himself. So I didn't think that this mosquito was ever going to do that. So you live and you learn. It's fine. If I was over here, though, I could just push him onto that mine and we would have an extremely free combat. As it sits, I think you punch here, shoot this guy into the mine, and then shoot the building. You'll take one from the, one from this guy, but then he blows up. I think it's this. And you come over here. Unfortunately, we have to shoot it. Please watch your fire. Look, brother. You don't seem to get it. <laughs> it wasn't going well. Now the Alpha Scorpion's in the game. Mm, oh, that's really bad. Oh my god. Uh... Huh. That's terrible. Well, I need to not lose a pilot on the first combat, I feel. So unfortunately, I'm just going to have to shoot him, I think. Push this enemy. I... What does this do? It does one. So if I push everything back, you can walk here, shoot this guy into the wall. The mosquito is going to be the big killer. Ah, no, that's not right. That's not right. It's not right. Oh, well. It's because the pushback. I didn't think about it. But punch that guy into the mine. Can't move this one. We're okay, I think. If we leave this only having taken one, it's not so bad. As long as no scorpions pop up and root me, it's also okay. Oh, extremely good spawn. We love to see this. Oh, he's dead. He killed himself. Okay. Just push him into the mine, for sure. Uh, so, not attacking. Probably just walk away. Shoot this guy. The problem I would like to answer here is I'd like to be able to actually get this one damage, but I don't think we can. And we're going to spend the entirety of this combat just pushing this mosquito around, it looks like. Or maybe I'm just sacrificing this building because... One, two, three... I'd have to come over here and kill this guy somehow. And to kill him, I would take one anyway. So maybe I shoot this and sack this building, because it doesn't make a big difference, does it? When you look at it, it feels like we're going to be taking one no matter what you do here.
just double checking that hypothesis. I don't think there's a world where we can stop this alpha mosquito from hitting this building. I think this building is just done for. I'm looking for it. I'm really, I'm really looking for it, but I don't think there's anything you got here. We move to here, but no, you can't do it as artillery. So, I suppose it's pretty simple. Push this. And to be honest with you, if this building's gonna die anyway, we may as well do the three damage to him. I don't see a reason why you wouldn't here. Sorry about the building. The fight never gets easier. He's right. And then shoot here. It actually only gets harder. You die, right? You kill yourself? Yeah, he dies on the mine. And you die there. And then this is final round. So. And there's no route, so we can just walk away. Excellent. Last turn. So all things considered, we took two power grid damage, but we also get two power grid damage, or we get two power grid back, so not so bad. Now here's the real question. I guess I can have Ralph kill this one. I would like to have gotten, we're just farming XP at this point. I'm trying to get Ralph up on levels. Shoot this guy for fun. Not the worst first combat I've ever seen out of this game. Could have been worse. We took two, we gained two, so we neutralized it. And importantly, we accomplished all of the objectives. So the goal here is to get a perfect island on the bonus objectives. It's a shame about the two deaths, but also I don't really care. So what I have decided is that it's extremely, uh, not extremely, but it's important to try and take early missions that have things like tidal waves and landmines to make them more winnable. And to take missions that feel like you can actually do the bonus objectives. What's the play here? Uh, it's definitely going to be push as many of these scorpions into the water as possible. Now, again, let's try to predict what they're going to do a little bit. I think there's always going to be a little uncertainty, uh, for a while anyway. Eventually we'll get there. But it feels reasonable to assume that this scorpion is going to attack one of these two buildings, this scorpion is going to attack this building or this building, and you're probably going to go here, and then you're probably going to go here, right? If I were to take a shot at it. Just first best guess here. So, here, you can push him in like that. I think the only thing that's hard to do is save these buildings. Yeah, and also it's extreme. What's really risky here is I could get my... I could, like, send a cannon mech down there. I could send the tank down there, and he could just get caught and die. Because if he gets webbed, it's hard to stop it from killing him. It's okay to sack this. So here's the play. I'm going to position myself with you here, and then try to punch the Alpha Scorpion into the water. Uh, tank back here. No, it's like this, right? Uh, the thing I don't like about this is it opens up this line for the Alpha Scorpion, but I don't really have a better play, right? It just opens up this walk up and attack out of the Alpha Scorpions, which is really bad. If they both go here... It's actually extremely bad. Maybe not extremely bad, but it's pretty bad. My hypothesis is, I mean, worst case is it goes like here, 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 here. Uh, this guy walks up. Oh, he, if, th if they go here, here, this guy attacks here, this guy attacks here would be pretty bad. And then don't really care what the regen man does. Let's see what we get. Oh, the water goes round one. Oh, that makes life a lot easier, actually. Okay, because this guy might actually just waste his turn. Hmm. That is pretty bad, but if we look at the attack order... It's not so bad. So what we can do here is we can shoot this, right? Th this, this building takes one. I think there's no stopping that. You shoot this... And if you look at attack order, yeah, again, put that guy there, step on up, punch this guy into the other one, Scorpion 1 into Scorpion 2, Scorpion 2 now kills Scorpion 1, and then Tatiana Chavez, I'm going to start calling him by their name, just walks up, shoots that guy. You take one on this round, and that's extremely acceptable. Oh, the regen goes first? It doesn't make a difference, but that's really good to know. I thought the regen went last. 
let that happen again? I mean, that building is never going to be destroyed again. I can honestly guarantee that to you. That's fine. That's not fine. But so... It's, it doesn't kill this guy, right? This, this mosquito is extremely alive. And killing the mosquito does not remove the smoke. But I really, I don't want to take another one. I'd like to start rebuilding the power grid, not just taking it down. This building is really problematic. So let's talk about the first idea, which is we can do this. Now, what does that open up for me? What that opens up for me, honestly, 100% what that opens up for me, is that opens up this mosquito to walk over here and take a free kill on this building. I'm pretty sure. However, it does, it frees Ralph to just go, like, punch the mosquito or punch this enemy. Or maybe even just kill the regen. You could go, like, if, if this would be here, here, you could go, you have three movement. One, two, three. Doesn't seem good. One. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. This is tough. The sm the mosquito really really messed with this. Like, we could take a passive turn, right? We could take a turn like this, where you push this guy, take the free damage. It's all okay because the damage will go after the regen, so this enemy goes down to two, and you just push this guy off, and we basically spend the rest of our time pushing him away, because that's all he's ever going to do if I push him there. Why anyway, you just pass your turn. That's a shame. Alright, you go like this, and you push this one down. I think that might be the idea. This is the sort of play where, like, short term this is good and I take no damage, but I think long term this is going to bite me. Because there's two more spawning. Yeah, if he died to water, this would be 100% fine. But, we'll see. Ideally, the scorpion attacks the building. Oh, that's really good. That's fine. That's good. Extremely good. Uh, wow, yeah. Okay. Huh, interesting. Now, what's bad is you're caught in the water here. Ah, uh, you know what? Wait, this is actually massive brain by the AI. It just put the blood scion here to block me. Wait, that's so giga brain. Huh. Wait, yeah, because I could just walk over. I guess I couldn't walk over and punch this. No, never mind. The water's really fucking with me here. So obviously we can shoot this and push the alpha into the water. And that seems okay. I can step up and shoot this guy. I basically, if I follow this idea, I'm sacking three power grid damage here, which is like un unacceptable, I feel. But what else could I do? If I wasn't blocked here, I could walk over to here. Okay, one, two, and then I could shoot this here and punch. Oh wait, wow, this is so much damage, hold on. I thought this was fine, but it's actually just like a game losing amount of damage here, I fear. So I, I, I think... Oh, this is last turn, by the way, so I'm not even going to finish the bonus objective. I'd have to kill one, two, three, four, five. I just got five of them here. The water is what fucks you up. I'm not being able to move through anything. Hmm. I could do this, right? And you can go one, two, three... Punch that guy. Doesn't seem good though, does it? This is a turn that I could spend a lot of time reasoning out, but I think that ultimately there is not a great answer here. And what we have to do is we have to minimize the amount of grid damage we take. The bonus objective is not completable, I feel. So how do I minimize grid damage? I think the right now, first pass, the best I can do is three damage taken. Because so I can... 
I'm gonna push this guy off. I can punch here. Oh, I can't punch here. Wait a minute. Is it actually four? Wait, am I? Okay, I have, I have to shift my priority. How do I not lose on this turn? It's a great question. It's, uh, it's not good, because this water here with a mosquito over it is crazy bad. Like, unbelievably bad. I could try... So let's start going through the lines that we can look at here. We can look at something like this. And what this does is it pushes the Scion back. Seems bad. I can look at something, I can look at something like this. Also doesn't seem good. Undo move. I can look at something like this. Something like that. The problem is this this mech right here, Tatiana, she's completely worthless. There is nothing that I can do reasonably here. And the smoke blocks that. One, two, three. He doesn't kill, right? If I push him out here and walk over, he does not kill this mech. It's a hundred percent a mobility problem. Okay, let's let's start looking at I can push these two off. But no, I, I think that So I can do three, right? I can do three. No, I still I cannot get No, I can get three. I can get three because they can't kill more than these two. I get it. Okay. I think it might just be we take three grid damage. Which is terrible. It is abysmal. Like, I'm looking. I'm looking for something else. I think it's just three. So let's, let's look, right? Is there any way that I ever kill this enemy? No. Is there a way that I kill this enemy? Yes, I can stop this two damage from happening. But then that caps me at four. To stop this, I would need to be able to punch this mosquito, which is impossible. I can't come over here and shoot this guy. Can't punch this. I can punch this, but it still takes the one damage to the to the tower. I'm gonna give myself another thirty seconds, and then we're gonna go on the on the bad line here that I don't want to follow. Every line is bad. Remember when I said this turn was good? I was I lied. I think it's this here. If this tile was not water, I think that... No, it's still bad. Because of the push, right? Really, it's if this tile wasn't smoked, it would be it would be better. Or if this guy didn't farm me, what the hell? This Scion is a, like, what a crazy movement. Okay. Shoot here. I'm looking, I'm really trying to find it. I think, I think, all right, final answer. Shoot here. Walk over here, punch this guy. We just farm XP now. Anything you can do here? Nothing really. And I take three. That's like, that's brutal, man. Would you have killed this? No, I don't think so. That's, that's unfair right there. They farmed me. Hardcore, but hey, that's that's the game mode. It's collapsing. We're still in it. We're still in it. Don't worry. Not dead yet. Partial damage sustained during that battle was costly. Well, yeah, I don't care. It sucks, man. Uh, Ralph gained invulnerable. Does not die when their mech is defeated. I don't think that that's very good. 
and with eight spaces on fire. Defend the armored train. Oof. Air support. Oh, air support's pretty fun. But wait, air support plus kill six or fewer enemies? Hey, what the hell? I definitely want grid, but I can't get grid right now, so I'm gonna go here and then up to the grid. And with eight spaces on fire, it's just shoot a lot of forests. Attack order, please. I think it's very possible that uh, this this bouncer probably goes here, and then the Alpha Scorpion goes to attack here. Uh, you only have one option, which is here, and you're gonna go here. Hundred percent. That's how it goes. So how do I how do I fight against this? Well, probably I need to. You're here. You're here. You're here. So I'm gonna need the artillery this square. Uh, push this square and put. So I need to punch here, shoot here. Okay. So I think it looks like this is my setup. I'm I'm pretty sure if I understand enemy patterns correctly and I've gotten a good enough hang of this, this should be the setup that optimizes this and makes me take zero. Ah, nice. Oh, uh... That's interesting. I, I'm pretty sure this Scion just trolled. I think he actually just ruined this for them. Like, 100%, I think that's just terrible. What an awful move. I'm glad to see it. So, this changes things slightly. Not a ton. But we could do something like this and block the spawn. And, on top of blocking the spawn, this pushes this guy onto the tile. Or not pushes this guy onto the tile, but it sets this tile on fire. It kills the Blood Scion. And I think it's probably something like, you go here, shoot this guy, he'll end up in the fire, and then you go here, punch this guy, and they'll take one. Do they, I'm, I'm pretty sure I looked and fire damage happens before the regen, because if it didn't, this regen would be crazy. If it did, read if it if it didn't work like that, regen would actually just hard counter. Oh, also he was attacking the other way. This area seems extremely defendable because of the mountains and the positioning. The scion trolled this scorpion though, like hardcore ruined the scorpion's day. I do kind of wish that they would just like fall off the map when they did shit like this, but hey, you know it's fine. I do need to look at Young Scorpion here and figure out how I'm gonna kill it, because it's about to start wreaking havoc, right? I need to start thinking about that. These guys are just doing nothing, right? They're setting some forest tiles on fire for me. So I'm gonna pop over here and shoot this with the cannon, or with the, yeah, with the cannon mech. That seems good. This music goes so nuts, man. Listen to this. I think that rather than do anything else, what I want to do here is I just want to kill the scorpion on this turn. And I can do that. And now he's dead, right? He dies to burn on the next turn. I, everything else is low HP. I think setting the scorpion up to die is the play. Mm, the mosquito scares me. So that attack doesn't matter. He's, like, a lot of the turns they have are just completely wasted. Oh, you know what it is? The enemies won't willingly walk into fire tiles. I see. Because look at this. This bouncer should have been able to attack Ralph here, but he can't. Because the And this one should also be able to attack, but it can't because of the fire tile. I didn't realize that. That's a great piece of intel about enemy AI. You're dead. Probably, I need to set some tiles on fire. I also don't mind if I catch on fire at this point. We could get rooted by this enemy, which would not be great. Now, interestingly, I fear... So, this is a time, and I'm going to lose a lot if I'm wrong, but I think the AI won't step on time pods. So if I go stand here, I think this mosquito won't have a valid attack. If I'm wrong, it's fine. We're learning. Learning is good as well. But I'm pretty sure if I stand here, this guy can't attack anything unless he gets caught on fire. You step up, punch that guy, he dies. Eight tiles are on fire, all good. Uh... 
Sadly, I won't be able to refresh if I do lose the time pod, but it's fine. There's a lot of variables here. We're learning something is worth the risk. If I lose to learn something, it's fine. Oh, he flies. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, he flies. Forgot about that. I want you to get the kill. Cause I could, I could take this shot and get the kill, but that's it's all fine. All right, perfect fight, very good. Uh, we the last fight was a nightmare. The this fight was great. The layout here plus using of the enemy AI was very good. We crushed it. Does it. Shouldn't the mosquito fly away? Oh, you know what? I bet they only fly away if they're over water. Nice. Uh, give me something good in the time pod. This shield weapon I can't use. Excellent. Reactor core is nice. This gets a dash? Ooh. Plus two damage is pretty sick there. Plus one. Building's immune, I don't... Ah, uh, building's immune is okay. Wait, that is actually really good. Never mind. I was gonna say I don't think that's very good, but buildings immune means that if there's three melee enemies around a building, I can shoot the building and save it without taking any damage. I'm in. Knock mites off the mech. Your mechs must be purged before exiting the quarantine zone. I don't know what this is. Do I have to hit my mechs. Let's try to do some hypothesizing. This enemy has no valid attacks. You have to go attack this. You have no valid attacks. You're going to go here. Okay. Easy peasy. So step one is to not give the enemies valid attack plans. Or, 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 or do, because what will happen is he has to go here. So I could just push him into the water. So stand here. You're going to be a real pain, as usual. Alpha mosquitoes are the biggest problem. And you can go top. Damage, fire, acid freezing, or repairing will remove the Vec Mite. Okay. Seems doable. The Alpha should come attack, right? Oh, what the fuck? He still killed himself, but it's weird. 100% we kill this. There's no universe where you don't just shoot this guy into the water. Although, actually, he's going to come over here. Seems very stoppable. I could come here and just put him on this. And I could just block the spawn, right? That seems okay. It also pushes this enemy out of range of attacking anything, right? Look at this. Look at this idea. It'll also knock a mite off of one of my units if I play like this. I think this is a little better. Because now you can't attack anything. Uh, it does put us in a position, though, where I'm going to need to reinforce over here. I do fear. Because there's going to be two attacks. Oh, and he's not going to be stoppable. I, I guess you just artillery him off, right? Shoot the building. We just took buildings. Can't take damage. Oh, whoops. Uh, slight issue. Building just takes one, I guess. wonder if I... Uh, reset turn here. I'm willing to do it for this. I want to not take the one. Oh, wait, I'm a fool. Oh, that's my bad. I, I thought that... I, no, that doesn't... That actually made no sense. Okay. My mistake, my mistake. So I'm going to play it the same way. I just wasted my reset. Okay, I don't need it anyway. Sorry about the building. Sucks to suck. Did that person say excellent as they got blown up? Interesting. Oh, he... Okay, so now I need to reinforce on the left side. Whoa, what? Wait, he's trolling. Definitely. Uh, the idea here is pretty simple, actually. If I just walk out of the way, he'll end up on top of the spawn tile. This is important because, one, I want to kill that. Oh, you can't can't stop this. 
I guess it's fine. I just, what I want to do here, and what I'm trying to get through here, is I'm trying to get one of the mites off on this turn. Oh, you know what a good way to get the mites off is? It's probably just blocking spawns. Hmm. Well, these buildings take no damage from this now. I can also shoot here, but I think this is fine. I'm going to just advance with you. Come over here, repair that mite off. There you go. Now, this guy's gonna enter the field. I think a lot of the game plan here is just stopping enemies from spawning, though. Fine. He just kills himself for fun, I guess. Excellent. Great turn. Extremely good. You go here, push this guy off. You go here, punch this guy. And you go here and block a spawn and get your mic cleared. Great turn. And this guy just kills himself. I'm telling you, this is what I'm saying. This enemy, maybe this is a baseline enemy, maybe, maybe this is not an advanced edition enemy. This enemy is stupid. Like every other enemy I feel I have some level of respect for. The mosquitoes are real nightmares. These guys are so dumb. They're actually brain dead. Good. Acceptable. Great. Oh, really bad. <laughs> Huh. Are you just dead? I think you might just be dead off of that, right? No, 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 wait, it's fine. Hang on. Because this only does one. Can you make it up here? Yeah, okay. Watch this guy. Shoot here. Think the hit. No problem. Ha. <laughs> Another good combat, I gotta say. Fuck that mountain. God, I hate mountains. Also, I didn't even need to repair it, huh? I'm telling you. The, the, I feel the way to be unfair is to prime, to, to go to an island that has that enemy as the first enemy. They're usually more on your side than they're against you. Corporate HQ. We got a bouncer leader. Mm. So the first leader, the first bounce, like the first leader is very hard. This guy's going to be a nightmare. He has armor. Ah, uh, jeez. He just has a passive armor. Okay. So, uh, I need to set him on fire to ever have a chance of killing him. Again, let's analyze. Uh, so, goal number one is going to be to not let him get to the corporate tower ever. Goal number two is to look at his attack. Oh! Okay. Gotcha. You're going to go here. You're going to go here. Uh, you're probably going to go here. Okay. You're going to go here. Uh, you have three movement? So here's the plan. I want to bait him. I want him to come attack like this, maybe. And then I want to push him back. So I'm going to do something like this as my setup. I want him to come attack me here and not attack here. But I guess here is also fine. Ah, yeah. I guess he could do that, huh? I didn't think about that idea. Shockingly not so bad. So a lot of our game plan here is going to be killing him with attacks that go through armor. Attack order, please. Okay. If it was slightly different, we would be able to just use one action to stop two hits here. Oh, well, we still can, I guess. But. How much does he do? He does two. I, I didn't think about this. Of course. So. One idea is go here, push him, accept one damage. If he didn't do two, the idea would be go here, push him, shoot him here, shoot these guys off. He'll kill the mosquito before it swings, right? That idea is okay, but it doesn't work here. Another idea is sack two, because we can spend our reputation to rebuild the grid afterwards. By the way, if I haven't covered this yet, I don't think I got to this. Uh, the leaders are immune to water, so there is no point of maybe I can push them into the water. Just wanted to clarify that for you. 
Is there ever a universe where I feel like I am not doing this? I think it's too early to make a rash choice like that. Another idea, so push him to the right twice is an idea. It kills the Blood Scion and I take one on the turn. I think that's going to be our best play. Sadly, I only do one to him here, but... Oh, you know what, though? I take grid damage for that, don't I? Sure do. I take three. Didn't think about this part of it, did you? Interestingly, it does set us up to be okay, but I don't like that. I'll take it back. Not good, I think. Not good. So, I think maybe the best outcome here is to take two only. Push these guys away, push him over. We take two. He goes here, we take one here, one here. Does that seem right? I think that might be right. Alternatively, I wonder if there's ever anything for... Here's a better way to take two in killing one. You punch this bouncer here. Push him to the... push him here. But first... okay, so it'll look like this, right? Tatiana comes here, shoots this guy. Just to push him off of that. Uh, Punch here, push this guy over one. We take one here, this one doesn't hurt me. Uh, but if he goes over, if if this mosquito goes here, I'm guaranteed to take one, I think. My life for that mech that spins enemy attacks around. God, that guy would be so nuts here. So I could take two by double pushing him and then just pushing this one off. I think I'm taking two no matter what now. So as I look at it again, I think I might have been on the right path. I think I wasted my reset here, but this is the play I'm going to go for. Because what this does is it also... Uh, he doesn't take damage from that, actually. Yeah. Well... One. Mm, they regen at the start of the round, right? Fine. I think this was the play. And you just accept two damage. I don't think you're getting off of this with better than two. There might be a better way to take two, but I'm just going to call it here. Kills that. Shame that we go down to two, but it's okay as long as we live. It's fine. Fine. Kind of bad. The interesting thing here is they created a bit of a wall. So, if I take two, I lose the game. That's your first assessment here. So, how do I stop myself from taking two? The big play here... The big play here would be to get the boss to this tile. I don't think I can do that, unfortunately. But if I could get the boss to this tile, he would solve like my entire problem set. Unfortunately, this mosquito smoked me here. I'm looking for it, right? I'm really looking. If I could push this mosquito out of the way, I think I would be able to get him here. Because I could go like one, two, three. So what I what I should say here is what I what I mean to say is if I could push this mosquito out of the way without using my artillery mech, right? If I could go here and push this guy back. Or no, here and push this guy back. Because then you could go artillery mech moves you here. One, two, three, push him here. So my movement is all three, so I can't quite make it, unfortunately. Unless there's something very big brain here. 
So that leads us to our next line of thought. Which is, like, the next line of thought is that it's pretty easy to not take damage here. I think. You come over here, punch this guy into the wall. Ah, uh, wait, maybe it's kind of hard. That's no, not so bad. You punch this. You shoot this off. And... Oh, wait, no. Uh... Eh. I think I take one here, right? Look at it. Follow me here. It's punch this guy to make space. Push him over with the artillery mech. And then what? I don't know. You're just kind of wasting your turn here. This damage doesn't go through because there's a knockback on this attack. like that? Did that kill him, maybe? I could kill him and then take one on here. Hmm. I could kill him by punching him into the wall for two, pushing him into this guy for one, and then punching him into the wall for one. But... I don't love that. The problem is this Alpha Scorpion. If this Alpha Scorpion wasn't here, I think this turn would actually be no problem. But... You know. Yeah, so is it possible for me to push you back? Step up. I can't. If mo moving this enemy to the left is not an answer. This is not like, oh, we're saved. It's just a different town dying. Maybe I'm accepting one damage here. If I'm accepting one damage here, what does it look like? There's two. If I'm accepting one damage here, it looks like punch this, push this over. I don't love it because I'm wasting a turn, right? I guess shoot him into the wall, punch this, and then push him over. I take one damage, I do three to the leader. I think that's going to be our best play, unfortunately. Oh, wait, I'm just going to end up losing because something's going to spawn over here and kill me, right? Think about next turn. We have to live three more turns after, or two more turns after this. And, like, an alpha spawns over here and just blows up this building. So, in a... But I guess the, the follow-up point, though, that I have to make is, in a world where I spend my artillery mech on this, is it even possible to not lose the game? I think I can do three, but not four, right? Punch him into the wall, that does two. Push this into him, it does one. That's three. And also in that line, uh, my my combat mech takes two, and that's really bad. Okay, so I don't think that's it. I think it is take one and pray, basically. I, I think that this is just a take one and pray situation. Pray that something spawns over here that I can stop. But... We want to look at this logically here. I think logically the best space to move to is here, so that you're in a position to move and help this tile. Oh, my alarm is going off, huh? Hold on, I gotta turn that off. You can't hear it, it's behind me. So, shoot here. Hmm. No, shoot here, sorry. That was pretty silly of me to lose like that, huh? Shoot here. Okay, I'm doing it. You're on fire now. I think I took buildings immune, by the way. Oh, by the way, if I end my turn here... No, it doesn't push back, okay. This attack does two or three? Three. Oh, I thought that did two. Oh, frig. Push him into the wall and then he'll take one when he backs into you so we can kill him next turn, probably. That enemy's at one.
Am I an idiot? What the fuck was my plan? What the hell? What was I thinking? This doesn't work. I lost. What was I thinking? How did I trick myself into thinking this? I actually, I actually tricked myself. I don't believe this. How did I end up here? I was supposed to sacrifice this building. Oh my God. What a fucking idiot. <laughs> well, we have a 3% chance off. This character leveled up to give me three grid defense, but also they're dead, so. What a fucking idiot. Jesus, man. 3% chance I don't lose. Yeah, I deserve this. I can't believe this, man. I actually, I, I don't think I threw. I think it was a really bad uh, look. I think that was not good. However, oh my god. Alright. I mean, Ralph is not a character that I really care about, but I'll take him. Well, thanks for watching. <laughs> we'll come back tomorrow. And I will try this again. I don't, I'm probably going to record this all day today, actually, because I'm having a great time with Into the Breach. So uh, I can, I can say I will probably do a little bit of off-camera work as well. But like, yeah, Unf I feel like this was a better representation of Unfair Mode, where you make sacrifices and then you make one mistake and lose. Extremely fun, though. I had a great time with this. So uh, yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Have a good one.